YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from my home in New Jersey. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed for cold weather. I shaved my head so it needs to stay cold. The room is currently, I think, 67 degrees. I just lit my stove. So hopefully by the time I'm done with the video, the room should be comfortably warm. If you look outside, you would see there's still snow. So that's the reason why I have the hat on and I'm dressed fairly warm. So today, we're going to talk about why I went from uh, lead acid batteries to lithium ion batteries. Um, I, in 2018, I installed my first set of lithium ion batteries for a client who lived on an island in Lagos. They were Victron uh, lithium phosphate, I want to say. 200 amp hours and it cost about $8,500. For me, that was just way more money than I could afford and way more money than most of the people who purchased from me were willing to risk because for them it was untried and it was something that uh, didn't make financial sense at the time. By the way, this video will be done in two parts to keep it short. So this is part one and when I'm done, maybe later today I'll do part two. So we started scouring YouTube and we found the Tesla Smart lithium ion batteries. They come from the Smart EV uh, which is actually built by Mercedes-Benz but the batteries themselves were built by Tesla on the first generation Smart Electric anyway were built by Tesla for the smart for the smart car. So we purchased a bunch of those, uh, connected them and had no problem so we automatically assumed that we're geniuses, we didn't have to do anything, just uh, you know, bunch them together, uh, put cables on them, connect them to an inverter and charge controller, and we're in business. Well, we're so wrong. Um, we needed to be able to do 24 and 48 volt configurations. Also, we needed to be able to do 12 volt configurations in a pinch. The Tesla was definitely out of the question because the Tesla will only give you uh, 48 volts, which was a 16S, we charged to 65 volts, and the majority of the inverters out there will not get to 65 volts. Uh, even our Victron will go to 64 volts. With the new firmware update that Victron has told us about, we can get to 66. We've not seen that firmware update yet. The Outback is another that will get to 66, but we don't have that many of it in our market, and the Schneider definitely will not go that high. Um, also, your limitation on, the te on that Tesla Smart, also, Tesla Smart was your minimum voltage. Some inverters would not support that minimum voltage. The minimum voltage was much lower than what we needed for the batteries. So we decided that the Nissan Leaf, or I decided that Nissan Leaf was a better solution. And we purchased a lot of them. And then the fun began. Um, we destroyed a few because we overcharged them. We destroyed some bunch more because we undercharged them. Um, luckily, these batteries are good. They don't catch on fire like uh, lithium ions are supposed to. What would happen is they'll swell, but they don't catch on fire. We shorted out a couple of them due to inexperience. But at the end of the day, I, we still believe that the Nissan Leaf is the better solution for people like us who use repurposed EV batteries. One, I can configure the voltage I want, I can configure the capacity, and I can run them with basically generic BMSs. And that is the, that's the caveat. Uh, if you're going to run big amp loads like air conditioners, then you have to find uh, very specific BMSs to work with them, but the generic uh, BMS which you see, the 14S, they generally have a 4.2 volts as your max and that's where they balance even though the balance current is minimal. And then on the low end, they cut off at 3 volts and I found out that these Nissan Leafs, their sweet spot is between 3.6 and 4.1 volts. So anything below that, there's not really any capacity. Anything above that, you're really pushing your luck. So 3.6 to 4.1 volts I see as a sweet spot for the Nissan Leaf batteries. Uh, what else did we discover? 
we also found out that before we we had believed that the max you could do was seven batteries and then to get another set you had to do another seven batteries and then another seven batteries and guess what talking to uh, someone from chargery he drew a diagram for us and we realized we can connect seven batteries in parallel and then do seven series of those parallel connections to give us our 48 volts or do um, four to give us our 24 volts so and we can use one BMS to manage the entire series that for us was big because I kept cracking my head figuring out how am I going to get a BMS that's going to do this job for me and finally it was a very simple one so Frank Z was watching my channel after we had the fire with the Chevy Volt batteries it turns out that we actually got batteries that were already damaged and my people didn't inspect it properly so that is a rarity but it's something that's very possible and he added a link in one of my videos to Sean McCarthy and Sean spells it M-C-C-A-R-T-Y he has a channel on YouTube and I'll put a link to his channel he had block balancers and he's, he Want, I wanted his block balancers. What do block balancers do? Basically, what the ba block balancer does is what the BMS is not able to do. A block balancer monitors individual cells, and if one cell goes outside of the parameter, it discharges that cell with up to a 6 amp discharge current, which for me was exciting because I had my Nissan Leaf, even those I connected in parallel, where you have one cell that will charge faster and another that will discharge faster. So being able to bring down that particular cell that was charging faster than the others allowed the other, the other cells to fully charge. So for me, that was exciting. I called Sean I, and he said to me, uh, Christopher, I found a better solution. And then he told me what it was and sent me the link. So I've purchased a bunch of them and I'll be doing a video to tell you what the better solution is. And when you, when you hear about it, you'll be as excited as I am. So thank you for watching. This is Dr. Sula coming to you from Sparta, New Jersey.